Hey there, we're going to run through the simulation of a single phase circuit in Multisim. To do this I'm going to use a low pass filter. We'll start with a resistor from this tab here and we will also choose a capacitor and for this low pass filter I'll just use the default values. Connect both components together. We will need a function generator from the right hand side over here. Right click and flip horizontally and then connect the positive of the function generator to your circuit. Select a ground and connect it to the common port of the function generator. Double click on the function generator. Set the frequency to 1 kHz and the amplitude of the signal should be 5 volts. And we can see here that it's a sine wave. That's all good. Finally, another ground over the other side, and that's the input and the components of the circuit sorted out. To measure the circuit, we're going to need an oscilloscope, drag one onto your stage or your scene here, connect channel A to the input, and channel B to the output, like that. Double click on the scope, set the time base to be one millisecond. That corresponds to the one kilohertz input signal so that we get a decent readout. And then to do the simulation, it's simply a case of hitting the switch at the top here and stopping the simulation. And from this simulation, it can be clearly seen that the input signal is five volts and the output signal is considerably smaller than five volts and also out of phase. Out of phase means that it's not rising and falling at the same time as the input signal. We want to find the cutoff frequency of this circuit, which is going to mean adjusting the function generator here, its frequency, so that the output is 0.707 times the size of the input and 45 degrees out of phase. That's the definition of a cutoff frequency for this type of system. Now to save time, I've set up the calculation in Word. So for a low pass filter of this type, the cutoff frequency is always given as one divided by two pi times C times R. I've plugged in our values here and when you do this sum in your calculator, don't forget the brackets by the way, you'll find that the cutoff frequency for this circuit is 159 hertz. Back into Multisim, we double click on our function generator, select hertz and make it 159, enter. Resimulate your circuit. And instead of using the oscilloscope this time, we're going to go into the grapher. That's view, show grapher. And here is our circuit. And I'm just going to left click and drag just to select a little bit of that. There we are. Right click, toggle your grid, toggle your cursors, and toggle the legend. And at this stage here, we've got one cursor which I can left click and drag and I'm going to do it over the higher of the two waveforms and the second cursor will be over the peak of the second of the two waveforms like that and what you're reading on the oscilloscope legend here is the or as accurately as I can get it with these cursors is that Y1 the peak of the first or the input waveform is about 4.99 volts and Y2 is 3.367 and when you divide 3.367 by 4.98 you're going to get approximately 0.707 and that shows us that this circuit is at the cutoff frequency. Just quickly going to show you how to do a bow plot as a part of this as well so that we can look at the phase because at the cutoff frequency the input and output will be 45 degrees out of phase with each other. The first thing we will do is we will double click on the node that we're interested in and this node's node name 7 so we're going to be looking at this signal here what the signal is doing at this part of the circuit. We're going to simulate analysis and we're going to use an AC analysis select decibel 
output variable so it's node name 7 and we want to plot that during the simulation and then we simulate the circuit like that and we get this lovely big plot here which first will tell us once we put the grid and the cursors on both of them both right clicks again the other definition of a cutoff frequency is when the signal this is the amplitude plot up here when the signal has fallen to minus 3 dB so we've got this lovely big uh, lovely big graph here if we set this cursor the second cursor up here and we shift the first cursor and we look for the change in Y dy the change in y and we're looking for that to be 3 dB a change of 3 dB from the flat part of the graph that's the cutoff frequency for the circuit it's quite tricky to get it spot on and it doesn't really matter whether you do get it spot on for the, the purpose of this exercise that's quite close if we then look at um, first cursor in terms of its X dimension here X tells us it's 165 Hertz so we're not quite there but we can see that yes 3.11 to save time you can get that a lot closer if you zoom in and do it yourself but to save time I'm just going to leave that as it is for the time being and we're going to look at the second part which is setting this cursor Y1 again to the same point it's this one here X1 in terms of frequency we want that to be about 159 very difficult that's about as close as I managed to get that X1 and then we would look for the change in the Y dimension DY again and you can see it's near enough 45 degrees so the definition of a cutoff frequency or the bandwidth of a system is when the amplitude has fallen by 3 dB from its normal operating point and when the input and output are 45 degrees out of phase with each other. That's it. Bye bye.